morning, my friends. It must be Monday. I'm so excited to be back with you again today, especially because this week is going to be so fun. We're talking about one of my most favorite things again, and that's bugs. I love bugs. I love insects and all kinds of creepy crawly things. So we're going to start out singing our morning song, and then we will take a minute to talk about what we're learning about this week. So get your hands ready, find your eyes, and sing with me. Here we go. Eyes are watching, ears are listening, mouth is quiet, body still. This is how we listen, this is how we listen, on the rug, on the rug. Good job, okay, now we're gonna sing Hello Friends. So today, since we're talking about creepy crawlies, um, when I say your name, give me a little wiggle. Here we go, ready? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, I'm glad you're here today. Hello Ari, hello Lincoln, hello Mallory, I'm glad you're here today. Hello Sam, hello Sage, hello Quinton, I'm glad you're here today. Hello, Danielle. Hello, Andy. Hello, Gwen. I'm glad you're here today. Hello, Brady. Hello, Lincoln. Hello, Amelia. I'm glad you're here today. All right, friends. Now, when we talk about creepy crawlies, there's actually lots of different things we can talk about. Did you know that bugs come with all different kinds of names and all different kinds of bodies? It's true. Um, did you know that bugs live on every single part of our world except Antarctica? It doesn't matter where you go. If you like bugs or if you don't like bugs, you're never going to get away from them because they're everywhere. So I think sometimes when we see something and we don't know a lot about it, it makes us scared. So maybe this week, the more we learn about bugs, the more we'll feel comfortable looking at them. And I don't know if I like touching them. I'm not much of a toucher, but we can look at them and not be scared of what we see. So I'm gonna give you a couple fun facts about bugs and then we're gonna do a couple stories. And I think we have more bugs in our life than we think we do because we hear about bugs all the time. We just maybe don't realize it. Okay, friends, did you know that 50% of all insects on our earth are beetles? Beetles are characterized by having a hard outside shell, and I think we see beetles all the time. We see black beetles in the summertime, and we see watermelon beetles, and our favorite ladybugs are beetles. Um, another group of bugs is ants, in, ants, wasps, and bees. Those all fit in the same family because all of those types of insects, they have a stinger. The next one we have is a true bug. Now, true bugs we don't see very often in Utah. At least I don't see them much around my house. They have um, really sharp mouths and they usually have wings. So we'll look at some pictures of those, but we don't see those very often. The next group we see a lot and they're super pesky. We're always swatting them away. Can you guess what it is? They're flies. Then we have butterflies and moths. I love those. Then we have crickets and grasshoppers and locusts, which isn't a name we hear very much, but locusts fall in those same family. Then we have the dragonfly and the damselfly. So we're going to talk all about these all this week um, and we're going to listen to some stories so that we can get more comfortable with bugs. And I'm going to show you, we're going to go through the names one more time and I'm going to show you kind of a little example of what these bugs look like. So our first one, this one we know, is our spider family. There are arachnids. So spiders have eight legs and that kind of sets them apart. The next one we have is beetles. Remember that beetles have the hard outer shell. So they have smooth shells on the outside that are hard. The next one we have is a grasshopper or a cricket. Can you see that little guy? He has, he's characterized because he has super strong legs. Next we have the dragonfly or the damselfly. You usually know if you see a dragonfly or a damselfly because they have two sets of wings and really big eyes. Okay, the next one we have is the butterfly. So we have the caterpillar, the butterfly, and the moth. So those ones all go together in the same group too. So I'm gonna share with you two quick little stories and they're about insects. Well, the first one's about a spider. They're about bugs. We're gonna say creepy crawlies. I think that's the best because they all kind of fall into the same category. 
Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Good. This is a story that we hear all the time. And in this story, Miss Muffet was afraid of that spider. But if you ask me, he looks kind of nice. Usually with most bugs, if they're not bright colored and trying to warn you, then you can pretty much be around them and they're not gonna hurt you unless you try and hurt them. Okay, this is another one that I'm sure we know, the itsy bitsy spider. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Okay, before we go to our activities for the day, I have one more book that I wanna show you. This is a sample of what in the summertime when all the bugs have come out and it's warm outside, um, if you dig in your garden and you go out in your backyard and maybe you take a jar with you to see what you can find. This is a great example showing us all the different kinds of bugs and insects and creepy crawlers we might find in our own backyard. Okay, my friends, this is one of my favorite pages in my nature book. It's all about bugs and slugs and all the fun creeping and crawling things that we can see in our own backyard. You find a spot where there's dirt and dig a little or maybe just look around. What do you see? Do you see a butterfly, a spider, maybe some ants? This is such a fun book. And learning about bugs can be so fun. All kinds of creepy crawlers and flying insects. So when I give the signal, we're gonna go to our activity for the day. Here we go. Ready, set, 